remember being hungry. Mum would sleep a lot of the time. It was like I wasn't really there. So I learned to look after myself. It would always be at night when it happened. I used to close my eyes and pretend I wasn't there. I thought it was my fault. Having been a police officer, I'm now retired, and uh, I've seen where kids like Joe end up. Anne and I had space at home and knew we'd got the experience to uh, make a difference. We did our best for the young people who came to live at the unit, but the restrictions we faced were really frustrating. I wanted a better way to care. I don't know why I kicked off on people. I guess I was angry. Yeah, I was angry. I know you probably think I'm mental, but I didn't want to leave mum. People didn't see how scared I was inside. I didn't want them to. It was like I'd wrap myself up in barbed wire or something. I thought I didn't want anyone to get close. When I got took into care, I blamed it on myself. I didn't want to talk to anyone. Hiding away was the only way I knew how to cope. I used to cut my arms and legs. It was like a relief. I could feel the badness draining away. No one wanted me, because I was bad. Resilience fostering is not easy. Uh, for instance, Joe still struggles to control his anger. Uh, but to change a lifetime of behaviour takes time. He is starting to accept that Anne and I are here for the long haul and as a result he's settling down. There's lots and lots of practical help, emotional and financial support that we get from the scheme and it means that we can dedicate our time to helping Jo. There are times when Charmaine's really withdrawn. It can be quite difficult to handle. It's almost easier to deal with shouting and screaming. But I think I'm slowly helping her come to terms with her past and I'm starting to teach her new ways of coping with her feelings. No matter what I do, Tom and Alan are still there for me. I think they're the only people who know where I'm coming from. This experience has made me feel like I've got a new future. It feels like I'm really going somewhere now. When I met Alison, I was ready to self-destruct. I couldn't see a way out. She's given me a lifeline. Things are so much better now. It actually feels like I've got my own family.